So you can just put them on your head and you can't really hear anyone. Hey GQ, I'm a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia, and these are my 10 essentials. My first essential is my MacBook Pro. I basically take it with me everywhere, whether it be on the bus or a train, wherever I'm traveling, even to some social events. You know, you gotta try to squeeze out every bit of code that you can. So as a data scientist, a great laptop is your bread and butter tool. And MacBook Pro is that great tool for me. I've been using these for about 15 years now, so you could call me a little bit of a Apple fanboy, but I can't really use any other laptops other than MacBook Pros these days. So that's it. My next essential is Python. Not the snake, but the programming language. Until I used Python, I had no idea how useful pandas were. But jokes aside, Python is the language you'll be using a majority of the time in the data science industry. And in my opinion, Python is a fantastic language, especially if you're thinking of getting started with programming. It's so flexible with an amazing support community. I couldn't recommend Python highly enough. Next on my list is my Herman Miller chair, the one I'm sitting in right Right now. As a data scientist, you'll be spending more time sitting down than asleep. So you better get a good chair. Before this chair, I had a $100 IKEA chair, which was great for two years. But then after that, it started giving me a bit of back pain, which is not fun at all. After a long hunt for an ergonomic chair, this is the chair I ended up with. This is supposedly the best chair that money can buy. It's been two months now, and so far I've got no complaints with it. Let's hope it's stays that way. My next essential My next essential is this monitor. This is a 2K resolution monitor from Philips and monitors is something I can't live without. I spent too many years during university slouching over my laptop and that gave me some serious shoulder and neck pain. So ever since I graduated and started working, I always made sure to have a monitor to work with. This monitor is fantastic because not only can you adjust the height of the monitor, but you can also swivel it. If you are a uh, coder and you prefer a vertical display, then you can have your streams of code running down the screen. You can also turn it different ways. And ever since I've started using monitors, I don't think I'll ever be able to just work on my laptop on its own. And whenever I see all of these digital nomads boasting about how they're working out of a beach in Bali on their laptops, the only thing I can think about is the neck pain and the shoulder pain that they're getting. And I can't imagine anything worse. So for me, I don't think I can go anywhere without a monitor if I have to work on it. Um, it's not like you can bring a monitor to the beach in Bali. So that's definitely an option that's completely out for me. I would say nothing beats an ergonomic setup. So speaking of ergonomic, my next essential is my ergonomic keyboard. So this is what you would call an ergonomic ortholinear keyboard. So if you look very closely, you'll notice that all of the keys are in one line, which is very different to a normal keyboard. So the whole idea with this is that when you're typing, this configuration is reducing the amount of strain you're putting on your fingers and wrists so that you're restricting the movement. So your fingers are only moving up and down, not really sideways. So ever since I've gotten this, I've noticed that um, there's considerably less amount of pain in my wrist whenever I use my keyboard. This is also a mechanical keyboard. So once you've tried a mechanical keyboard, you, you can't go back to any keyboard. For example, just listen to how good this sounds. Yeah. So this is my ergonomic keyboard. This is the x keyboard. So go check this out. My next essential is the one liter water bottles. A water bottle is something I always carry with me anywhere I go. I've never been a fan of buying water outside because that's something that never really made sense to me. So I love this one liter water bottle because I only need to fill it twice to get my daily intake. And you've got to stay hydrated if you're going to be coding all days. So this is what keeps me going through a long day 
of being a data scientist. My next essential is the sit and stand desk from Ikea. If you're working at your desk all day like me, then your legs and back are gonna get sore from sitting on that chair all day long. So for every two to three hours of sitting down, I try to stand up and work for about one or two hours. Ever since I've started using this desk, my legs and back have been feeling great. So I couldn't recommend this desk highly enough. And these are pretty cheap compared to the other alternatives that have the automatic rise and stand buttons. But in my experience, whenever I've used the automatic ones, um, there's always issues of the automatic settings being jammed up. And usually there's no manual override. So, so this is the Belleroy Classic Backpack Plus, which is my next essential. So this is a backpack that's completely made out of recycled water bottles. So I feel pretty good about myself by owning one of these. And apart from being a great functional backpack this also looks amazing this also comes I, I think in about three or four different colors so pretty functional backpack so it's got a laptop hatch uh, with extra hatches for your for your cables and there's a top pocket for your sunglasses and then you've got the main compartment that you, you can be using for all of your other stuff and you've got a front compartment for all of your small items and you've also got a key hanger inside of it so Pretty great backpack overall. And I think my favorite part is that um, it's completely water resistant. So if you're out there walking in the rain, then rest assured, nothing's really gonna happen to your backpack. And uh, it still looks great as ever. And this backpack is nearly three years old and you can't really tell. Uh, it looks brand new in my honest opinion. So yeah, it's a, it's a great product. Um, this is made by a company called Bellroy, which is actually an Australian company. They also make some pretty awesome looking wallets, so check them out. Next essential on the list are my QC35 headphones. This was actually pretty useful pre-COVID because these are noise cancelling headphones. So I always worked at tech companies with open floor plans. So you can just put them on your head and you can't really hear anyone. So they're great for getting your work done. And people also know not to disturb you when you've got these on. Now the last essential on the list is my MacBook Pro dongle. So it's got three different USB 3 ports. It's also got an Ethernet port as well as a USB-C for charging and it's got an SD card slot which is great for when I'm uploading all my videos and transferring it from my camera. And uh, it's got two different cables that it comes with. There's a long one which I use for my desk setup and there's also the travel size small connector which is fantastic fantastic for when you're in the library or when you're just packing this in your bag. But yes, this dongle truly completes my desk setup. And if you're interested in getting this, then this is the 12 South Stego USB-C hub. I couldn't recommend this highly enough like every other item on this list. So that's a wrap of my 10 essentials as a data scientist. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you next time.